Hello everybody, this is me, Martell. So to get this off my chest, you know. Um, I'm back doing the True Force Lonely videos always, you know. I guess it's one of them comfort kind of videos too, you know. Which is ironic that some kind of fools was telling me they ain't like my kind of videos. I said, I, I, I don't do this for people, I do it for myself, you know what I'm saying? And I also do it for those who's lonely like me. I was looking up videos on True Force Loneliness and Chosen Ones. Uh, there's a lot of idiots saying they glorify being lonely. It's okay to be lonely. No, it's not okay to be lonely. If I had to say something, you know, being lonely, not to a degree. And let me clarify this up before I go on. Mine's is either no fault of my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do conflict. I don't do drama. I don't do nonsense and all that. But I find it funny, and that's half the culprit. It's like dealing with fake, toxic, drunk people that's over dramatic people you know what i'm saying and especially where i'm from and i hate to regurgitate this but you know to be i had to keep it obvious for the people and all that yeah as i said many times america is the worst place if you don't have no friends or social life you're pretty much sol you know what i'm saying and some say why don't you go to bars and clubs i hate bars and clubs because first of all they're too damn loud too too fucking noisy for one thing and um yeah bunch of bullshit and hey i can't if i can't hear myself think let alone speak how the fuck you actually communicate you know what i'm saying then even if you did it's all some shallow shit you know what i'm saying it's like hollow shallow bullshit and i can't drill on small talk bullshit you know and it feel good to get this off my chest like i said it's comfort food to me you know what i'm saying and I don't care, it's comfort food, comfort video, to get this out of my chest, get this, you know, it's way better than, than therapy, just talking to y'all, you know what I'm saying, and plus, therapy is not cheap, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just just get this out the way, and I don't like talking to therapists either, it goes back just a few seconds ago, small talk, you know what I'm saying, and I can't do small talk, cause that's boring shit to me, you know what I'm saying, or oh, man, Marte, sound judgment, you ain't give the people a chance, how can you give people a chance, you know what I'm saying? And I was watching some videos about this too. Like people come with hidden agendas or come, come with agendas in mind. And that's something even I had to be aware of. You know, it's like nothing ain't just for what it is anymore. You know, there's a lot of scammers, a lot of fraudulent activities, just people, just dishonest scumbags, you know. And that's the point I'm going to go with this too. You know, it's hard to really be vulnerable with some people, you know what I'm saying? People take your kindness for weakness and stuff. And um my faults with the chosen one, I don't know if this is true or not. It's just speculation, just my opinion, my my take on it, my hot take on it. I've been basically the only child my whole life. I don't have brothers and sisters and all that. I'm very thankful for um my cousins and stuff. We been there for since we was ch since childhood and grew up together and all that, you know. And that being said, but that doesn't substitute the fact not having a full, complete life, you know what I'm saying? Especially growing up fast, growing up mature, mature than others, you know. Uh, if I could say this, loneliness sucks, you know what I'm saying? And I I'm starting to know, I'm starting to know it's a, a epiphany here, too. I guess epiphany coming to me. How, how, how is that many Americans glorify being lonely? You know, it's this kind of theme. I'm going to say this too. How many so-called women call themselves independent bitches? And I hate to say that, but that's what, that's how they dress themselves as bitches. And it, it saddens me. This hear shit like this. And now you hear a bunch of cucks and simps saying they don't need women. I say, that's what the powers that be when they wanted a whole racial gender division. Americans are the most easily brainwashed motherfuckers you ever come across. It's really sickening and saddening. Actually, I ran out and just talked to a lady. I ain't fuck. I forgot that she's, um, half Latina and all that. It's pretty shocking. We had a compelling conversation about, you know, uh, Latino Latin culture. So that's something that compels me, especially on very thankful to say this to like I'll tell them how much I really appreciate Latinos. I cause anything because they respect me. That's the one thing you don't hear in America. American women do not respect me. You know, so I'm just stating the obvious, you know. That's why I have a big appreciation for 
Latinos also in Latin America, not the ones who Americanized, Westernized garbage. I'm just saying obvious. No, no offense. I'm not trying to come off racist or xenophobic. I don't like the Western, um, Westernized garbage or American version garbage of any kind. You know what I'm saying? It actually makes me sick. But back to what I was saying about loneliness. You know what I'm saying? I guess I want to draw the point too. Is like we talk about cultures, how Latinas and Latinas are very close to one another. And that's something I kind of know just myself also working with a few um, Latino ladies. They've been nothing but kind, appreciating, and really respectful, you know, towards me. I said, oh, my damn, that would never happen in America, you know. And it, it, it breaks my heart um, to describe this kind of way, you know. It breaks my heart. I blame feminism for ruining a woman, you know what I'm saying? That's just to get that out the way. But back I'll say my loneliness, it's a curse to be lonely, you know what I'm saying? But here's my explanation, my take on it. With a, you know, you get so lonely, you feel like you, you know, you need to be around people, but the people around where I'm at is just toxic, you know what I'm saying? You're either toxic or a bunch of NPCs, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not for drama, you know what I'm saying? I'm not for negativity. I know this sounds negative, but it is for what it is. Ain't that double entre or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> negative, negativity is kind of funny, though. I'm tired, but I just want to get this off my chest about loneliness. It, it, it's a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And for once, I just want to get this off my chest. I'm just tired playing PC and shit, you know? I'm tired of that shit. And, you know, I can't wait to give me an edible and all this. I can really let loose, man, and get drunk. <laughs> you know... If I had the option, I would tell, you know, a time machine, tell my parents, please have another kid. Please have more kids. Even if you have to struggle hard, then nobody shouldn't be the only child. And this is also respect about, you can call me what you want on this. This is also respect about, um, to a degree, Asian culture, especially in China, they had the one child policy. And that relates to me and resonated with me. You know, this might sound, Xenophobia, racist, but I'm just saying for what it is. I res- it's ironic I respect those who are only child. You know, I don't know how to put this in words. My apologies to Latin, Asian, African cultures worldwide and so forth. My bad. You know, right now I'm just letting my mind ramble on right now, and it does suck. You know, I wish I did have brother and sister, so someone that can relate to me and resonate with me. You know, and it's so hard, bro. No. Time to have to get this off my chest. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. I got my AC on because I have to keep my, um, the cold air on. Because I, um, if I don't, I'll be overslept and I don't want to miss work anything. So, despite making myself sick, but you know, just get this off my chest, you know, because I care about those who are lonely, you know. Um, therapy is not cheap, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even worth it. It's almost like no different than a prostitute. I'm just saying, it's no different. At least with a prostitute, at least you know you have a happy ending. A good time with a happy ending. You talk to a therapist, you still mad. And you broke. Now you're more madder and broker than you was before. And you know, now you come home with a debt. You know what I'm saying? You just came home talking to, uh, you didn't know you came in with a problem. You're going to go out with a problem. Now you ain't made your debt. You know, because therapists are not cheap, you know what I'm saying? Unless you was legally mandated by the law, <sighs> call me a hypocrite, call me a cell out. Go get the help, because I was forced against my will myself to get help many times, you know, and it sucks to even admit that. You know, uh, I guess the, the thing I'm trying to go at here, too, is loneliness is not what it crack up to be, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like having your own peace of mind, though. Don't get twisted. I I know that. Nothing like independent. But that's the thing I hate about American culture. It drills that independent shit. Individualism bullshit. And you... And sad to say, if you're not a conformist or an NPC, you're pretty much fucked, basically, you know? And the first time I actually let loose, you know, in a long time. And I feel good to get this off my chest, you know what I'm saying? And, um... It's just baffling at times that how fake people be really, you know, really is nowadays. But it's like, do you deal with the fakeness or do you deal with the loneliness? You know what I'm saying? It's a contradiction, I, I suppose. Good night.